Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to be using my airbrush. I have it linked in the video description if you'd like to see what I'm using. But um, I finished this painting a couple of weeks ago. It's a few videos back. Uh, I really, really like the way that this one turned out. Turned out. I do want to practice more with the airbrush and also embellish with either um, some alcohol inks or some gold leaf. But I like this one so much that I don't want to add anything to it and ruin it. So all I'm going to do is finish it with resin. And I'll show that in a couple of weeks when um, I have a few coats on there. Today <clears throat> I'm using just a couple of colors. I have white for my base. And I keep all my paints extremely thin when I'm using the airbrush so that it'll move it around really well. And then I mixed up, I have, that one is called Plum Pink, and this one is Purple Matter, and these are both uh, Joe Sonia colors. I really like the Purple Matter, that's one that I've used quite a bit in the past. And I don't know if I've really used the Plum Pink, but I think the two colors go well together. I'm hoping that they'll complement each other with one slightly darker and one a little bit lighter. And then I only use a little bit of paint, so I actually found these small um, Ziploc plastic containers that I can put a lid on after and save it so that I can use it um, in other videos and not waste the paint. Uh, for colors in the past, when I did that previous painting, I used maybe a tablespoon of each color, so it's a very, very small amount of paint compared to other types of pores that I've done. So I'm keeping my base coat of white really thin so that I don't have too much paint on the canvas. I found that um, this style of painting, which I've done a couple times, dries really quickly. Um, with the thinner paint, I also don't want it to move too much and I don't want it to get really muddy. So I can always add more and if I add too much, you can always scrape it and try again. So now I'll begin adding my colors. And I'm trying to think of how I want to <clears throat> have my colors go. I like leaving some negative space. So this is just a 12 inch canvas and I do have more of these and I have enough paint that I could always do a second one if I don't like the way that this one turns out or if I want to do a couple of different pieces with these colors. Instead of pouring the paint from the container, I've been using my stir sticks to just drop it on so that I have more control of where I'm putting the paint and also how much I'm putting down. Now, I try and do this gently so that I don't splatter my paint everywhere. And we'll move this around a little bit. Okay, so right now, the purple matter 
really took over. The colors might actually be a little bit too similar. Um, I can see some of that pink, uh, the plum pink that I put in. I may add more and see what I can do. Some of this area over here, I don't like that, so I think I'm going to scrape that, but I do like the way that the colors kind of move out into the negative space. So I may let, I may scrape this. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. really like the composition of this right now. Um, I think, see I don't know, I like it so I don't know if I want to try and mess with it once it's dry, but I do want to add, I love the way that gold looks or any kind of metallic really um, and the way that it gives everything just a sparkle and a pop of color. So I'm going to let it dry because I don't want to keep changing the way that this looks. And then what I'll do is by hand, I haven't decided if I'm going to use a paintbrush. I was also thinking about using a sponge to see what kind of uh, design I could get. But I'll add in some of these areas where I have a lot of really nice negative space, I'm going to add some gold and we'll see how it looks. But thank you guys for watching. Um, in the next video, I don't know if this will dry quick enough for me to do this in today's video, which it's Friday, so Sunday's video will probably be the second portion of this where I'm adding some gold um, in 
So up here I added a little bit more of that purple matter and darkened it up a little bit. I may go through with a paintbrush and just add a little bit more for some contrast in some of these areas where there was more white. Just make it a little bit more purple. But overall, I do like this. I like the flow. I like the way it looks. Um, I may, in some of these areas too, to keep it a little bit more negative space, add some white. So we'll see what I do in the next video. But I hope you guys enjoy this. I really like using the airbrush. I have lots of ideas for it. So this is something that I'm definitely gonna be doing more of. And thank you guys for watching. <clears throat>